Hello, my name is Attorney Ramsey Barawi, and this is Your Money, Your Life. Today our topic is paying for long-term care in a nursing home. First, allow me to warn our viewers that the information provided on this program is for informational purposes only. Given the generality of the information provided, do not act on the information supplied on this program until you have consulted with a competent and experienced elder law attorney. Now on to our program. I want to comment about filial responsibility laws. These are laws requiring children to be legally responsible to support their parents. Such laws vary from state to state. Massachusetts enacted a filial responsibility statute. It can be found in Chapter 273, Section 20 of the Massachusetts General Laws. Generally speaking, in a state having filial responsibility laws, a nursing home may seek reimbursement from the resident's children as these laws hold adult children responsible for financial support of indigent parents and, in some cases, their medical and nursing home costs. Typically, filial responsibility laws aren't enforced unless your parent has to accept financial support from the government or incurs a nursing home or other medical bill that he or she has no possibility of paying. If your parent has no financial resources, you might be expected to pay for that care. In states with filial responsibility laws, the nursing home, hospital, government, or a third party may be able to file a lawsuit against the child. In so doing, these third parties would seek a judgment that would obligate the child to pay his parent's bill. Most state laws specify that your parent must be indigent before the court will rule in favor of a filial responsibility lawsuit. The Massachusetts law is more specific, stating that the parent must be destitute by reason of old age, infirmity, or illness, and is unable to support and maintain himself. The penalty under the Massachusetts statute includes a fine and a jail sentence. Other states may allow garnishment of wages or a lien against the child's property. At this juncture, there are some important points for me to make regarding filial responsibility laws. First, a filial responsibility law is unlikely to hold a child responsible who is struggling financially. Second, a filial responsibility law is unlikely to hold a child responsible who is paying significant costs for his own child such as college tuition. Also, if your parent abused you or abandoned you as a child, the Massachusetts law allows that the parent is undeserving of your financial support. Lastly, the filial responsibility laws do not apply to an older adult who has gifted assets and satisfied the five-year look-back. Therefore, one protection is to meet with an elder law attorney and develop a plan that would comply with the Medicaid regulations and assist a parent in qualifying for Medicaid while protecting assets. In light of the filial responsibility laws, adult children have the responsibility to clarify their parents' financial matters. In closing, the essential lesson here is create comfort as well as peace of mind. The trick is to live for today and be prepared for tomorrow. In so doing, you will have less worry and more personal fulfillment. Instead of worrying about tomorrow, Today, put in place good and thoughtful plans addressing issues surrounding your estate, finances, lifestyle issues, potential future disability, and anticipated future needs. In so doing, you can then go about the business of enjoying life each and every day. That is our show for this segment of Your Money, Your Life. My name is Attorney Ramsey Barawi, and as usual, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.